Well, flood recovery efforts are still underway and they're still in the early stages in Tyler County, Pennsylvania. And today, the Lions Club of Pennsylvania and volunteers, they all came together to help as hot water, water heaters were delivered. WNY's Lindsay Madison spoke with Lions Club members about their efforts and ultimately what it means to give back. There are 60 hot water heaters currently waiting to go to people who filled out forms and met the requirements. Lions Club members who helped out this morning say the club is about community and service, and they're happy to help those in need. According to the Lions Club Disaster Relief Coordinator for Pennsylvania, Pima reached out to them last Wednesday saying they needed 60 hot water heaters. He said he would see what they could do, and in two days they had them and the funds to pay for it. So I called uh, Pima and said it's all taken care of, and they couldn't believe it. So I talked to tractor trailer company on Friday and lined it up and the, they picked the truck up and picked the hot waters here up and brought them here today. The money came from Lions Clubs across the state and also the Tioga County Partnership for Community Health, making a $4,000 donation. One of the Tioga County Commissioners said it's been overwhelming to see all of the support from all over. But they, you know, they see the need and they see an opportunity to do good things and they do it. A community devastated by flooding, but not defined by tragedy. One Lions Club member says it starts by giving back to the community, and it's their job to help. It's a warm, fuzzy feeling when you go help your neighbor. And it doesn't have to be something big. It can be just as easy as donating a couple cases of food to the food bank. To fill out a form or application for a grant or hot water heater, head to developtioga.org. If you're in need of food, cleaning supplies, or things like that, volunteers are here every day at the Westfield Municipal Building from 9 to 5. Reporting from Westfield, Pennsylvania, Lindsay Madison, WENY News.